Welcome to our lecture online. So what is the temperature of space itself? Well, space itself really doesn't have a temperature. It's dependent upon the radiation in space. So when we're on the surface of the Earth, it is nice and warm because we receive the radiation from the sun. But if for some reason we go out into space and we get on the other side of a, for example, our spaceship, on the shady side of our spaceship, it gets cold very, very quickly because we do not directly receive that radiation. So now we're exposed to the emptiness of space and it gets very, very cold. Astronauts who work on, for example, the, the Hubble Space Telescope, when they have to do something on the shady side, it gets cold very, very quickly. Their hands get really cold and they can only stay there for so long before they need to receive some sunshine to heat up again, to warm up again. So space is very cold, but how cold is it? Well, it turns out that we remember from the previous video that space is filled with that radiation that's been around for 13.8 billion years. And during the last 13.8 billion years, that radiation has stretched because space itself has expanded. So the radiation that was there before was at a much higher temperature. The universe was at a much higher temperature and the universe has been cooling down to the temperature it is today. And again, the temperature of the universe today is, de is determined by all that radiation that fills space. Well, Wien came up with the idea, and I guess I need an apostrophe there, Wien's law, came up with the idea that there was a relationship between the radiation we receive from an object and the temperature of that object. And the, re the relationship came where the temperature was equal to 0.0029 Kelvin times meters divided by the wavelength of that radiation. So, for example, the surface temperature of the sun is equal to 0 0.0029 divided by the radiation we get from the sun. Of course, there's a distribution of radiation, but the peak value is around 500 nanometers or 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, which tells us that the surface of the sun is about 5,800 Kelvin. Just a little bit less, but that's pretty close. So with the same idea, we can use Wien's law to calculate the space temperature, the temperature of space itself. And the temperature is 0 0.0029 divided by the typical wavelength that's in the radiation, what we call the CMB or the cosmic microwave background radiation that permeates all of the universe. And if we take that wavelength and plug them in here, we realize that the temperature of the universe is 2.7 Kelvin above absolute zero. Well, in Celsius degrees, you know that that would be about roughly, the temperature is roughly minus 270 degrees Celsius, or about, roughly speaking, minus 447 degrees Fahrenheit. Space is absolutely frigid, and the temperature of space is determined by the radiation within it, which is predominantly that background radiation that has been filling the universe for the last 13.8 billion years. And currently, the temperature of the universe has dropped to about 2.7 Kelvin. However, we go back 13.8 billion years ago at the decoupling of matter and energy. Well, the universe at that point was about 3,000 Kelvin. 3,000 Kelvin, that's pretty hot. And it's been cooling down to about 2.7 Kelvin today. So again, space is something that the radiation that's existed since the beginning of the universe that permeates through it. Space has been expanding, the radiation has been expanding with it, and now the temperature of space has dropped down to 2.7 Kelvin. Can you believe it? So if it wasn't for the Earth being there, we wouldn't feel the sun? Um, no, no, if you're in direct exposure to the sunlight, it gets very warm. Matter of fact, if you're on the surface of the moon... Yeah, but what if the moon wasn't there? You're, you're just hanging out there without the moon. If the sun is there, you'd still feel the warmth of the sun. With or without the moon? Yes, but if you go on the shady side of the moon, the yeah. temperature drops precipitously, right, to hundreds of degrees below zero, yeah. yeah so. so you don't need to be on something? You don't need to be on something, but if you're on something, then the environment around you warms up. So with the atmosphere of the Earth, the whole atmosphere warms up. And it's a good thing we have atmosphere, otherwise at nighttime, when we don't have the sunshine, it would get extremely cold. So yeah.
but do need something to keep us warm. <laughs>